has been just so active there in the yeah. Midwest. And of course, Cindy, when we see all of these videos out of that part of the country, mm -hmm. we always wonder, is that same storm system heading our way? Well, you can see the reports behind me. This is over the past 72 hours. Wherever you see a circle, that's where we've had a report of severe weather causing damage from either a wind, tornado, or hail. And there have been more than 900 of those reports since Monday across the country. And this whole storm system is marching east. You can see the front working eastward now, making Making its way into the northeast where it has been a pretty active day so far. We're not seeing the same intensity. We're not seeing the same setup in the atmosphere, so I'm not worried about tornadoes this afternoon, but you know how muggy it is. These storms are ringing out a lot of moisture in the air, so downpours, a lot of lightning, and a few storms could turn severe with some hail or some stronger wind gusts, so that's what we're watching for the next few hours, but you can see clearly north of the pike, not as active south of the pike, a lot of rain and a lot of lightning. In fact, we've had over an inch of rain in the New Bedford area, and there is a flash flood warning here till 3:30 this afternoon. As we don't have the best drainage in this area, and we're going to continue to see more downpours. You can see one area the rain moved on through, and now there's another one working on in. So these storms are kind of moving over the same areas, or what we call training, down along the south coast. And so this is an area that's going to see some heavier rain. You can see a lot of lightning too on the Cape right now. It is loud as you make your way up towards Sandwich. These storms entering Cape Cod Bay, eventually pushing up toward. Provincetown, but they extend into Plymouth and north of 44 up into Halifax. Those are those cells and you can see too over Rhode Island Providence experiencing some very heavy rain rates. Uh, there's flash flooding occurring here as well and a lot of lightning. Now as you go farther north, the rain isn't as heavy, but it's starting to pick up in intensity around the Worcester area and we do have a couple of new lightning strikes here. Also a couple of lightning strikes closer to Boston. So as we continue to work through the next couple of hours, we're going to see these storms continue to shift northward and you can see region wide. We've had nearly 200 strikes in the past 15 minutes, so an active afternoon. If you hear thunder, you want to make sure you're inside and protecting yourself. It's very humid outside. Dew point temperatures in the mid and upper 60s, and that is kind of wringing out all the moisture, which is why we have the downpours. But look to the west. See how they drop off sharply. It is this cold front coming on through that is triggering these storms today, and then once it drops south tonight, a wind shift is going to bring that drier air into our direction. So you're going to notice a big drop in the humidity coming, but be on guard for a few possible severe storms with that damaging wind and hail threat. Otherwise, downpours and lightning the story here for the next several hours. We do top out right around 80 degrees this afternoon, and I would say in the Boston area, it's through about three o'clock that we have the most widespread storms, and then it's a lesser chance as we head into the evening. Take a look on Futurecast. All that activity over us now really starts to focus into southeastern most Massachusetts after about two o'clock this afternoon and then look at heads offshore behind that first batch. We're going to kind of uh, squeeze out a lot of the moisture in the atmosphere, so a couple of storms may try to redevelop after about five, six o'clock this evening to the north and west, but they will be few and far between and the activity really comes to an end here after 8 p.m. and overnight the skies go partly cloudy. Temperatures tonight hold pretty close to 60 degrees. Tomorrow is a much different day. It is mostly sunny, no storm much less humid and it's going to be warm with that westerly wind. We're talking 80 to 85 on average with that westerly wind pushing 70s all the way across the Cape. So your Friday is looking pretty fantastic on the other side of this front and this drier air is going to be with us into Saturday too. dew points in the 40s tomorrow around 50 on Saturday and then they do start to tick up on Sunday and with that added humidity in the air, we may see a pop up thunderstorm Sunday afternoon, but temperatures Saturday Sunday near 80 degrees and then it's cooler on Monday, cloudy or two for Memorial Day. That is our better chance of the holiday weekend of seeing some showers with that threat lingering into Tuesday. So overall, pretty good weather here for the bulk of the holiday weekend. Two out of three, looking pretty great. Antoinette? Yeah.